umbrella right away. Okay. One second, I'm gonna switch up hands. Alright, you see. The problem with this view though. Alright. How can I do this? Okay, first of all, I think it's too high. The camera's aimed too high. So let me lower it just a little. If I can. Maybe. Like that. That seems a little lower. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to keep the umbrella out of view. I just realized this is not the easiest. Whew. Like... Hmm. I see Biggs and Walk, Sean, Jason Freeman. In Chicago. Ambrose Chamberpot, Panda Gabs, Leningram. Maybe my name is on Over Rain. There in the garden, Bill Henderson. It is quite windy. The umbrella is in frame. That's fantastic. Florian MM, it's only me. Tommy Bernhardt on Twitch is in Rockefeller. Miserable. This is supposed to be a rain, a rain event that lasts the entire day. John Hem in London, hello. Doomsday on Twitch, hello. Just a tad wet. RJ Jones, hello. All right. I have the shoulder mounted action again. One of the things we don't get, like you really feel like you're in first person view mode now because you can see the umbrella. Oh boy. I have it mounted on my shoulder. Hopefully it's a little less unstable. I, I kind of retightened it and I was able to actually use the ball joint to face the camera forward properly. So that's also good. Um, I think that, I think angling it forward was probably a big part of it, big as long, Sean. Nova's okay with the umbrella. POV. Chris Hickman, Robin McGraw, Norell is here. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know, I had a pretty busy day with work. But I saw this never-ending rain and I figured we gotta get out of here. Looks like there's some steam coming out. I feel like when there's a lot of flooding underground, a lot of steam gets generated. So we should walk through it and inhale it a little bit. I think that'll be good. Hello, our salesman's on Twitch, hello. Hard rain at four miles from Isabella. Oh, there's actually something going on. Uh, submit this to the press pass. Uh, FDNY is here. This is this is not supposed to be happening, I guess. All right, uh, new press pass event. I don't have it with me. Uh, let me approach from the other side. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in the middle of an, a fire investigation. There's nothing worse than a moist NYC. I guess it depends on perspective and whatnot. The vanishing point is centered. Yeah, I was able to adjust it. That was a big part of it. Yeah, there's. It's, I think it's like the underground steam. Whenever it floods, for whatever reason, the... Uh, the I mean, that's not really going to be helpful at this point, the extra beeping. You see that there's like activity, fire activity going on, right? There's like FDNY is here. Your extra beeping isn't really... It's, it's not going to do it. Always carry a press pass. You're probably right, I should. Uh, I guess, I mean, they don't seem to be in too much of a rush, so I guess it's okay, but I don't know if I should be crossing yet. I guess they're not going anywhere yet. All right. I could probably throw my gloves on just to have them on. Does enhanced driver's license include steering boats? I don't know about that. I mean, it's all coming from underground. You can see it here, right? All right. It's not super cold, but I feel like with the wind and the wetness, the gloves might help. Marcin, hello, looking for hidden places. I mean, is underground steam a hidden enough place for you? Let me check this message, see if it's important. Uh, 
on to that real quick. Okay, no other outstanding mess. Very good. Okay. So it's also like it's so the it's actually enough steam that it reduces the visibility for these cars substantially. Like you can't see in front of you in there. And so they're trying to safely drive through it without hitting anybody or anything or any other cars. Uh, it is very, very steamy. I don't know how normal it is. I've seen this before. I feel like this is a little worse. The problem is if people are crossing the street, the taxi's not going to see them. Uh, that's, that's an issue. Hey, why am I on Wi-Fi? Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta forget one of these Wi-Fi's. It messes with my, uh, like, I, I connect to this random Wi-Fi around the city, and it, like, really messes with stream with, uh, with my chat phone. Anyway, so that's what's going on there. The taxi's been standing there for a while, though, so I don't know. I, like, nobody, nobody seems to be wanting, because he doesn't know, I think, if he's going to hit anything or not. And I don't think I can really help him unless I go in there with, like, a fan. How come... Am I not seeing... The ch okay, the chat's coming through now. Okay, good. Oh, that taxi is still there. I ca oh, oh, he started moving a little bit, but it's worse now. You can barely... That taxi is about to disappear. I mean, I'm surprised, like, the fire... FDNY folks aren't, like, stepping in a little bit to try to... help him out a little bit, because he's kind of... stuck in there. I mean, they are all... the emergency services are right here, but he's just been stuck there for a while, I don't know. I think he's hoping he doesn't, like, run into that... other thing. Unless he already hit something, but I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. But there's a bus that's about to start moving, and that bus is not going to be able to go anywhere. Because I don't think it's going to be able to go all the way around the other side of that center column. Don't think this is the new Ghostbusters movie, but this is definitely... Okay, the fire, fire, fire folks are coming back. The guy opened his window in the cab. But now the problem is some people started crossing the street against the light. Okay, the other FDNY car is moving through. Now the bus is beeping. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I hope, I hopefully this is somewhat interesting to you because it kind of is to me. I kind of want to see this play out all the way now. It's a little, uh... There, there is a passenger in that taxi too. So, I don't know if that person is just going to get out, or something else. I just don't see how I can help them because, oh, the fire truck is leaving. All right, well, I don't know. The fire truck's leaving. The taxi's still there. Huh. So the fire truck left. I mean, I don't have a fan with me. I don't think there's anything I could do over there. Unfortunately. Oh, Romir Dubost used to drive that route. I guess all the buses really are going around. I, I mean, I just don't know any other way they can... Gosh. Well, yeah, the passenger's getting out. I don't know, unless this car also... Nope, the passenger... Got back in. All right. Well, I don't want to keep highlighting the misery of the taxi driver, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Oh no! He wait, wait. Okay, he's through. He's through. Okay, don't worry. He's through. You couldn't even see it anyway, but I, I saw him get through. All right, don't worry. No, he didn't hit anything. I think he was just so nervous about hitting the structure there because you couldn't, you could literally not see your hand in front of your face. That's how thick that steam is. Anyway. Vito, hello. He did finally make it through. I don't know, what's going on over here? There's a lot of folks hiding out under the scaffolding.
by wearing my news cap. I didn't even bring my press pass. But that's also partially because I'm an idiot, you know. I guess I'll keep it in my main backpack so I always have it, but... Sorry about the intermittent uh, umbrella. Whenever it gets really windy, I really don't have much control of how much it appears in the frame. I guess the other option is lowering the um, the Osmo on my on my shoulder. Is that a good idea? I don't think it's a good idea. Oh yeah, it won't be a good idea because I won't have I won't be able to angle the uh, the camera very high. All right, maybe under that scaffolding up ahead, I will. Uh, some gloves on. Yes, I have received the press pass in hand yesterday. All right, let me just stand over here for a moment. Uh, let me pick a spot under the scaffolding where the rain's not gonna. Nah, it's like it's like everywhere. There's no easy way to stop the rain. Okay. Have press pass, no travel, exactly. All right, let me put this in my pocket. While I put my gloves on, hopefully you can hear me. Someone is smoking nearby. All right. Up more jump than there. Let me pull my phone out again. It should have my face ID in there. Well, whatever they call it on Android. Yeah, there we go. All right. Everything's still playing. Here we go. Let's go towards the Empire, I guess. I just want to stay away from like 34th Street. Even though it's only one block over, for whatever reason, 34th Street is always so windy. Yeah, and I don't, even though I'm wearing my hiking boots today, which aren't uh, super waterproof, but they're better than my North Face shoes for that. Uh, anyway. I might even been able, be able to lower, should I lower the point of view of the action cam even a little bit lower? What do you think? Or is this okay? The setup's improved, it's more tolerable to walk now. I barely did anything, which is interesting. <laughs> It maybe just needed a few hours to settle in overnight. Mark T. Ed Pot K. Umbrella's in the way. Are you kidding me right now? Well, I've walked for 24 hours. I'm not ready for that. I know Kua Monster recently did that. And that's a... Uh, how fast it would be at the moment. Did I get a new camera? This is the DJI Action 4, which is supposed to be a little bit better for wet weather, and there's no gimbal to worry about, but the, what I do have to worry about is that to use it this way, I have to have a cable plugged in all the time. And my backpack actually has this hiking poncho over it that I borrowed from Mrs. Commuter. Umbrella's covering 50%. Yeah, it's a lot. All right. If I go like this, I think I can lower it just a little bit more. Yeah, maybe even a little bit more. There, yeah, maybe that's a little better. Let's try that. Excuse the glove. All right, let's try it like that. I'm walking again now. Is that a little too low now? Do you see too much sidewalk? Ron is here. Ben and Jerry or Hagen does? Hmm. I don't know. I get. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's a tough one. I feel like Hagen does has some good flavors. Is better now? Okay, you're okay with seeing more sidewalk below me? Below me? The other option is I can kind of rest the umbrella on my shoulder. No, I can't do that. It has to be not on my shoulder. I can't rest it on my shoulder because it has to be mobile when the wind shifts. 
Yeah, there's a couple of... No, that, that's Captain's Bar. I think I've been there once. There's a pour-your-own-beer place called Top House, it seems. Tap ha maybe Tap House or Top House? I think it's Top House. Pour-your-own-beer. And then there's a... Wait, what is that place next to it? To Tosak-chan. Food specials. And it's pretty full, actually. Maybe both places are. The, the pour-your-own-beer... Any other one? Ah, yeah, it's Tap House. Hmm. My pace is slower. Well, I'm, I haven't really walked too far yet. Well, let's see what happens if I pick up my pace. This is what, I, what it's like if I'm walking a little bit faster. Sorry about the umbrella again. If the wind picks up, it kind of goes in view. Oh, gosh. There's only so much control I can have over it. And I'm holding it in the opposite hand, too. You can see the angle of other people's umbrellas when they're moving, and it constantly changes, too, because of the shifts and winds. That person's umbrella is inside out. See? That's what we don't want to help. Oh, yeah, it happens right there. That's exactly where it happens. As soon as I hit the avenue. We're right under the Empire State Building, by the way. umbrella helping in the wind well it's better than nothing the problem is that cable you know that guy's on the sidewalk Ron if he pours his own beer he can make your own bill that's right hopefully they don't ask for tip <laughs> uh, we should kind of investigate that Oh, right around here, yeah, across the street, is a really good dim sum place. See, the problem is that the dim sum place on this side of the street, which is just up ahead, has been open longer. But then this new one opened up and it really started taking the neighborhood by storm. Maybe not that dramatically, but it's got, you can see them making stuff in the window. Let me cross the street again, actually, see if they're actually making it today. But now I gotta wait for the cars again. Which one is bigger, Madison Square Garden or Barclays? Technically, it sounds like, um, it sounds, I, I believe we looked this up once, and Madison Square Garden can seat just a few more people. It's like not a significant difference, but they can seat more people than Barclays. Anyway, you, you can see them making various things. It looks like they're not very full today, so they're not doing too much cooking. There's a few folks inside, but it doesn't seem to be super busy. They're making their uh, pork buns, I believe, in the front. Primate, you know, in any big city, just keep your wits about you, you know, stay aware. You know, I feel like you should never really be completely oblivious to your surroundings, no matter where you are. That's all. Andrei Abdulin from Russia, Ilya Stanislavsky. Hello. Roma Gavabov in Azerbaijan. Hello. Dave's daughters are in the city walking this weather. Well, thankfully, it's not too cold. It's supposed to get chilly again tonight into tomorrow and a little bit of Monday morning. Um, you know, it is what it is. Are they doing anything apart from just walking? How's it going? And that is a uh, person trying to get some business into a, uh, I believe that's a strip club. I've never been. If you believe me, but that's the honest truth. I've never been there. Truth, truth. Robert in Phoenix, hello. I saw some folks over in uh, Walks of Wall Street, Tom's stream earlier. I apologize if I didn't get a chance to say hi to everybody. I was still finishing up work. I was trying to really hustle a little bit so I can get back out, you know, and, and have enough time to walk around before dinner. Is dating hard in NYC? I guess it depends. It depends. It might be harder with the superficiality of dating apps. 
you know, everyone's just swiping based on first glance. So they never get to know you after judging you real quick. But again, I have no idea. I was never... We got married even before the dating apps became a popular thing. So I've never really been in a... In the, in the app situation. I need to get a Gus Buster umbrella. You know, I had one at one, at one point. Specifically that brand, Gus, Bu uh, Gus Buster. And now I have a Davic. Everyone's just blocking the intersection. The guy seems, well, I think the guy walking by, uh, he, he seems to know everybody that walks by there. The friendly face of the neighborhood. Betty in Northern California, Daza Pants, hello, hello. What did I finally get for dinner last night? So the Indian food is what, what tickled my my fancy. Niggas Walk Sean recommended that. And uh, that was a good call. That was a good meal, I enjoyed it. I think I ate too much. <laughs> Hence yeah, another reason to walk today. Because I don't walk very much if I'm working on the weekends. Is it possible to come as a tourist and find work in New York? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how fast you'd be able to get a job. You could always find something to do. If you're not like international, sometimes it's, it's more difficult if you have to get like work visas or whatever. But you could probably always pick up like an Uber delivery service or something. Again, the legalities of all that. I don't know. My my international work visa knowledge ends starts and ends with 90 day fiance. <laughs> so whatever that means. After that, we can do that. Or we can do But yeah, you should be able to find stuff anywhere. I wouldn't you know, it really depends on what you're willing to do also like you're not going to come to New York and your first job become the director of HR at a big company <laughs> there's nothing like that I mean, unless you have experience but it's not going to be your first job but you can, you can always work your way up somewhere build your skills up and such Allie's here caught you in top stream earlier also for a little bit Oh wow, they, they tore out the whole building, but they left a little entrance to the subway. I feel like I never really realized that before. The prior walks in this area. We can't go to B&H today, they're closed. And they're closed tomorrow and Monday, I believe, for Purim? Purim? I don't know how to refer it like that. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Still raining and still raining good. Sorry. Um... No, we just wait. All right. Is 90 Day Fiance all completely staged? I mean, I know they want good television and they'll choose the, the couples that will generate that. I, just, I mean, I'm assuming some of it. Maybe somewhat? I have no idea. It's just an entertainable. Entertaining. Regardless. If you don't have to watch it, like, think about it. Overdramatized. Oh, that's for sure. And I, you can tell they edit, they edit the uh, the cuts. You know, they put those uh, four silences. Like, they record someone else talking, and then they'll play another part of them listening, but with no audio. But somebody's actually talking. It's not an actual awkward pause. They're just making it seem like it is. Wow, that was some strong wind there for a second. Oh, Paula Carini. Yes, I remember that. That, that was always going to work out. Anyway, this wind is uh, now it's going from all directions. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go into uh, let's go into Penn Station for a minute. Let's get out of the rain. We're going to come out of the rain for a moment. It's, it's a little too much right now. 
I'm gonna dry up my phone also. Like my chat phone's getting a little too wet. I'm worried it's gonna have phantom presses. One second. Oh, sorry. Stand on the right here. So. Then dry my phone on my pants. Okay, here we go. Oh, the fight between Pedro and Chantel's family, yes. I remember. Oh yeah, we can see, oh, wait a second. We can see some of the new shops and restaurants that are gonna open here. I see one already that I'm intrigued about. This will be the closest Raising Cane's, apart from the one at Times Square. And the Shake Shack's about to open here. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta check this out. All right, so they're opening up a Shake Shack down here and a Raising Cane's, which is, I guess, I don't know how they're all of a sudden franchising so, so much. But this is nicer than it was before in terms of the rest of it. I used to have to go to Long Island Railroad a lot. There's flooding in the station, uh, unfortunately. It's uh, raining from the ceiling, so you can see that when it does rain a lot, uh, yeah, it does flood. Can you see that? The rain from the ceiling? This is the third we got, Dave, the third. There's one in Times Square, there's one in Astor Place, and then there's one uh, here, I guess. And I don't know if any others are coming, or maybe there's others I don't know about. Yeah, the entire Gotham News is all flooded. Wow. No, everything is flooded. It's bad. The, the, the renovated Penn Station, uh, the verdict is in. Not waterproof. <laughs> There's the verdict. Dos Toros makes a good burrito. You know, I never had that. Maybe worth a shot at some point. Rose Pizza, I guess, I don't know if that's a chain or anything. I don't know much about them. And then a Chick-fil-A is opening? Wait, and a Pollo Campero? I don't know if I know them. <laughs> it needs Norell's company to come extract the water. There's a lot of stuff coming here. Beer table, so a little bit of a, you know, after hour, after work, happy hour. Again, we saw Chick-fil-A, Chopped is here. I guess they sell coffee at Le Cafe. Oh, do I want a coffee? I kind of do. I just, I feel weird about going in there with a thing on my shoulder. says Raising Cane's just overpriced chicken fingers. I don't see any other particularly floody areas in the concourse. Playa Bowls is now open. Oh, they put an insomnia cookies down here too. And then there's going to be some sort of pasticceria italiana, Real Buto, opening up. Oh, those are acai bowls, Playa Bowls. I guess Playa is like beach, right? Well, should I, I kind of want a coffee. Do I, do I get one? Get a, I don't need a coffee and a cookie, just a coffee. Um, all right. I guess I'll have to drink it while I'm down here because uh, I'm not going to be able to handle an umbrella and a chat phone and a coffee. I don't have that third hand yet. Iced coffee makes it... Also, yeah, you're probably right. It has to be iced because um, it has to be iced because let me lower this then so I'm not I'm not causing any trouble here's the chat phone we we'll lower that and then I guess we'll uh, thank you Narelle for the $20 Australian super chat I appreciate it This froze. Though. Hold on a second. Is, my, is the stream still working? Because I'm having trouble connecting to the actual live. I think my chat phone is having some service problems. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, no. No, 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 not at all. All right. 
you can hear me right now, my, my chat is off because I can't see anything. There's bad service in here. Do a cold brew with milk? chat in a moment. It says I'm connected to YouTube chat service. I'm just Once I start seeing some chats coming through, I'll know if it's working again or not. The service inside there was pretty bad. Hey, um. hey. All right, now it's working. Now I lost this. Okay. All right, here we go. Are people start? Are people dating in the in the, in the chat again? Is this, is this your personal hinge or something? Then okay, can we get to the? How do we get to like the upper railway area? You know what? We can go in the middle. I want to see if they made any changes to the middle of this whole thing. Oh, is there a lot of music in there? That's not good. I just realized there's probably music in there. Wayne, hello, glad you're enjoying. So thankfully these straws aren't like, I think they're recycled, but they're not too bad. I mean, Rose Pizza is actually pretty big inside. Can we go to Hudson Yards Mall? Yeah, we might as well. I'll have to use a noise suppression there. It's probably gonna be pretty dizzy too. Let me go upstairs and we'll walk through the upper area and pop out on the on the Eighth Avenue. Ah, I got it, Allie. <laughs> Doug, we're trying our best. Oh, I did. I, I said I lost my connection to YouTube chat service again. I may have missed a couple of chats. But I don't know what's going on. Oh, did the copy did the coffee shop already kill it? I should have thought about that in advance. We're walking by the flooding area. Looks like they're trying to capture a lot of the water. No, it's not actually being captured. They're just redirecting it off the escalator. Which probably makes sense. You probably don't want a bunch of water in the escalator. Uh-huh. Oh, RJ's got to go. Okay, have a good one, RJ. Thanks for coming in. Sorry if I missed a bunch of messages. Tommy in Long Island, hello. How's Long Island holding up? 
Long Island can be pretty prone to flooding also during these kinds of storms. Hey, so, ha, 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 are you trying to get me to say your name, huh? From California, high desert, hello. You so-and-so, hello, on Twitch. Twenty Dragonfly Andreas here. Oh yeah, I think I got your super chat. Not super chat, PayPal. So I appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't realize it's like one skinny escalator here. The middle one is a thin one. The single file. Let's go on the single file escalator. Yeah, I don't know if they're like directing that water directly to the uh, directing the water directly to the uh, to the uh, tracks or something, but yeah. I guess we got an Auntie Anne's station here. Wines and spirits. If you need a, a gift on your way somewhere. Michelle K on YouTube. Tom Tom, Lawrence, bonjour. Oh, they have like Auntie Anne's everywhere. They're just set up. Stay to the right on the skinny escalator. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They have a Krispy Kreme in here. I forgot about that. This used to be one of the only ways you could actually get a Krispy Kreme in the, in, in the city. Like, before they start opening up the big ones. This is the one to get a lot of them in. Hey, we saw a police dog. I guess I passed the sniff test. <laughs> I don't have anything on me. No contraband. Hey, Gigi's here. Yeah, we'll see if any new rivers get formed, Zach. I was gonna call it NYC walk slash swim, but I didn't want to get too ridiculous, you know? Maybe if I had a canoe on me. Krispy Kreme is too sweet for Ron. Yes, most of them are. If I get any Krispy Kreme, I only ever get the original glazed. Nothing else. Only the glazed one is appropriate for my palate. Otherwise, anything with the filling, it's usually too much. too much for me. Um, oh, actually, could we even go through Moynihan? I forget if there's a way to actually get into Moynihan from here. Hmm. Maybe up the escalator? Yeah, up the escalator. Because then we can go even farther west without having to go outside to get closer to Hudson Yards. Close on your breeze about the original glaze being excellent. Yes. Is this actually going to let me walk... Hmm. No, I think this is making me go. Yeah, this is gonna make me go outside. Oh well. I thought there was a way. Like the tracks are connected. Like if you go to the tracks, you can. Uh, I thought you could do that. All right. Well. All right. I'm gonna turn off chat for a little bit so I can walk across the street. Talk to myself for a minute. Now I'll really look nuts because I don't even have headphones in or anything. All right, so I have my umbrella. I have my coffee. I don't have the light, but like, can't I? Isn't there some way to cross the street here without? I'm pretty sure it's the tracks because I remember we took a train from here once, and I asked them when. If we're going to be entering the tracks through the uh, Penn Station old side or the Moynihan side, they said it's the same thing. I think the tracks just extend. All right, I can't see the chat at the moment. I'm just uh, I'm just waiting to cross the street here. We'll see if it's going to be a minute, at least ten seconds more before the light changes. This is the taxi stand for folks leaving Penn Station which is just under Madison Square Garden. Don't know if anyone's playing tonight. Somebody can look it up. Empire State Building is in the clouds. If you can see that. Ah, we have the light. Let's go. Seagulls are out making noise, too. All right, let's go to the Moynihan train hall and go through there. Oh, yeah, we can go all the way to 9th Avenue through Moynihan. That's right. Let's do that. Looks like there's no rotating doors at Moynihan, unfortunately, so I'll have to finagle the doorways. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Alright, 
one second. Again, there's <laughs> I can't see chat yet. I am pulling out the chat phone from my pocket. Let's see how busy things are in terms of... Oh, gosh, it's, up, it's an upside down. It runs something. All right. There we are. The Rangers are playing tonight. Wow, where's RJ now? Hi, I'm Wyo says, yes, the tracks you can get through. Oh, if I went to the bottom of the station where I was, make a left and go straight, I could have made it underground. Got it. Oh, well. Where are my camera on my head? No, it's on my shoulder. So I guess we'll go through the food hall again, and then I'll try to exit out on 9th Avenue, and then we'll get even closer to Hudson Yards. I'm going to hope we didn't get copyrighted in that coffee shop. Maybe the pockets, the Osmo's uh, actions microphones aren't like, oh, that music's going to get me, though. But I'm curious, remember that one time we did that stream and we were sure we are going to get copyrighted and we didn't? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to like hope that it's not. We'll see. I don't know. But I probably should also be outside considering I said we're, we're like in the, in the rain more than I should be inside. So I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we shouldn't go to... Uh, Hudson Yards. Let me finish my coffee and I'll think about it. They got sushi by Bond Street here with an omakase right in, right in the station. Let's call it to the side. I feel like people are just tur touristing through here. They all got coffee and Vegemite. Kind of, Peter. I hear music here too. Oh, EAK Ramen is very good. I didn't know they had one of those down here as well. But the pastrami queen, that's the big one. Wow, this place is just jam-packed. I feel like people just realized how good the Moynihan Food Hall is. Because it is quite good. It's better than bacon, pastrami egg on a bagel. You gotta add some cheese to that. I think this is copyrighted. Dope. It almost sounds like a uh, dragon, dragon, rock the dragon. Bum, 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 is this the same thing on loop though? What is this music? Is this like, is this like some sort of royalty free music they're playing here? It's like the same thing on loop. It's not ending. I also lost chat for a second. T-Mobile in the rain does not do well. If I miss anybody, I'm sorry. The chat died off for a second. We're just gonna go out directly at 9th Avenue. Hopefully I'll be done with my coffee. I just suck it down. Yeah, they're still playing that same music on loop. Dun 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 ate away at my brain until I needed it in my body. One of my mic settings was great surround sound suppression. Yeah, it's, an, it's, it's, a, it's a local setting on my... Oh, is Facebook not letting anybody come to work on a weekend? The lobbies are closed. I mean, I'm assuming if you have an employee ID, you can still get in if you wanted to. So I don't really know. I don't think that'll stop anybody from like going to work if they really want to, right? I did get a garlic naan. I got chicken tikka, garlic naan, and sag paneer. And I think I ate more than a one person portion should have been. Which I'm okay with at this point. Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna... Let's, let's go outside first. Let's see how things are. We gotta, we gotta like... We gotta... You know, get the weather really in us. Uh, the problem is... There are no trash cans. Oh. All right. I'll probably put the chat funnel. I'm going to wait for that light to change. Oh, it's really windy out there. I can see that people across the street struggling with their umbrellas. I'm going to put the chat phone away. I'll wait for the light to change. I'm going to go across the street. Uh, 
Ooh, it's windy. I see people's umbrellas going sideways. All right, make sure mine is fully open. Nope, it's windy. All right, I'm gonna re re-angle my hand position on it. Very windy over here. Let me throw this out. Okay. Um, okay. Chat phone back. Oh. All right. Typical bigger trash. Not this way. Ah, oh, this is dumb. Chat phone in the wrong, wrong hands. Don't slip. Oh, the high line. Let's go. I'm such an idiot. Oh right, yeah, let's go to one of the windiest places in the world while it's raining and windy already. If there are any. Yep, I walked right into a uh, barricade. That's fine. I gotta switch hands. I'm gonna walk to the side so I pop out of the wind for a moment. Alright. Looks like they cleared out the skating rink and squeezed out some of the ice onto the sides here for it to melt. I'm taking it away like Mary Poppins. Gust of wind went right under my. I got a little backpack poncho, you probably, I wish I could show it to you, but it's hard to reposition stuff. Like I can't twist my body <laughs> with this camera mounted to my backpack. Oh yeah, we can get on the Highland from that extension. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, let's, let's see if we can hurt ourselves today. I have a little uh, shoulder backpack strap Velcro thing. But I kind of want to use a peak design mount instead. But I think I'm going to switch to the neck one soon. That neck one's going to improve the audio, I think, by having a pocket right in front of my mouth. I'm so we have several of these same umbrellas in the house. Uh, I took Mrs. Commuters. <laughs> we have so many other umbrellas and she's not going anywhere now, so I think we'll be alright. I couldn't trust my nearly- oh, this is actually kind of slippery. This is all metal. I couldn't trust my nearly dead umbrella, which I still didn't send back. Procrastination. And what, what's that saying? Some people say, how you do anything is how you do everything. Whoops. But hopefully she won't need it. We do have a lot of other umbrellas, they're just not- we do have one unopened data. I forget why I have it, but I do. This is that extension they made so you can walk kind of from Hudson Yards to, uh, to the train halls. What kind of bridge is this? Is it an extension? Oh, I kind of answered the question without even realizing it was asked. Now that's Pepperidge Farm. I passed Jay, not an NYC anymore, but was. I saw your old studio. Nice. Can I have her? <laughs> Walks in Wall Street. Tom never answered my question about if I should buy in Tudor City. It's probably too cheap for him to sell. He was going to show a three and a half million dollar apartment. I, I, I'm chump change. Oh, you were joking, not encouraging? Well... If I die because of you, Mrs. Commuter will come for you and your money. <laughs> if insurance won't pay out, Biggs and Watch Sean will or something. Maria's getting the hard snow. Wow. This tree is always like a really nice 
burst of color when especially it's dreary out. Am I ready for the summer? I mean, I'm always excited for season, season changes. I think that's one of the things I like about New York. You know, those steamy, muggy, humid, sticky, 90 degree days, you know, you can only be excited for, for so long and then you kind of want things to cool down. So I think I'm done with like the winter at this, even though the winter wasn't super cold this time, it's still nice to, uh, to have a change. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Got that golf ball out of the blowhole. Hey, you got some art over here. This art area is actually uh, covered. So let's look at the art by Abraham Cruz Viegas. Is the first one. Looks like a pupa. Oh, is this like, um, wait, are these, uh, are these potential candidates for like a new bigger art installation? Are these the, like the candidates? Because it looks like they're showing, I'm trying to bend over and like show you the, it looks like they're showing a bigger version of it. Unless these are different areas of the world. Or is this something that I, I think there's just something that like they're looking to show on the High Line. We're going to get plenty of snow questions in June. Ooh, yeah, they will put this giant French horn. <laughs> uh -huh, right where that tree is. I bet the High Line's also closed, too. Let's see. Oh, you can see the sideways rain in, in distance. Oh, wait, I want this one. The Cat Demon Protector. That's the one I want. Or kiss the cop too. Maybe that. No, this this was also a cool little hut. But anyway, yeah, the French horn. The French horns are actually quite intricate. Oh, oh, oh. Where are all those bags in there? Is that actually a bag store, or are they just up on display? Look at this high line. It seems like a very bad idea, based on what I see. I see sideways rain. Oh. Afraid no ghosts. Yeah, a huge French French horn would look kind of cool. Okay, it's time for bad bad ideas. All right, bad idea number whatever number this is. Oh, there's like a tornado of birds up ahead. Do you see that? Can you see those birds? Is the camera able to pick them out? They're just flying in a circle up ahead. This was a bad idea. Have they finished the memorial where I slipped? Don't break this computer's umbrella. If that happens, I'm deleting the stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's like a tornado of birds right above me. Like... I can't even tell where I'm pointing. Oh. They're just going in circle. I think they're seagulls, but anyway, okay, I gotta switch around my umbrellas. It's not flying if the tornado is doing it. There's actually quite, yeah, there's a ton of seagulls up there. Can you see this? Like, I've never seen them circling this much over the city. Well, as you can tell, you know, it's the weekend. The High Line gets really, really busy. It's shoulder to shoulder on a Saturday afternoon. Really, really tough to get through here. Oh. I'm making seagull sounds myself, it sounds like. Oh. All right, well, I'm gonna bear right because hopefully everyone else coming at me is bearing right on their side. That way, we don't actually run into each other. Maybe I think I need I think I need um, a phone, like a, the the shoulder strap, not the arm strap, but put it around my hand and have the phone in the back of my hand. That way I still have a free hand, 
but I can also access my phone very easily and have that hand free too. I think that would be an interesting compromise. Oh, he's trying to get a parking spot. Well, I think he was trying to parallel park in there. And the other guy's trying to get around him, but he can't. You should have turned on your hazards so you could show that you're actually parking, but you can't. The cars behind him aren't letting him try. They're just... It's just... Oh, uh, it's going to be a while. All right, let's go. You can hear the seagulls, though, right? Yeah, there was a lot of them just circling. I hope nobody's behind me. The flowers and trees are starting to bloom a little bit. How's the, uh, the the camera acting today? I know before it was uh, yesterday was pretty shaky and bouncy. How is it today after I readjusted a little bit? I know earlier was okay, but I'm walking a little bit faster now. That's kind of you say, beautiful love. I mean, you might have some delusion. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you. Thank you. Metallic squeak is an interesting footstep. Met metallic squeaks. More bouncy and swing. Because it looks hard! I think the coffee was pretty strong. I think when I get the neck mount and find a way to put the pocket on it, that'll be even better. Because I think just having it closer to my body, I'll feel a lot more comfortable about having it in inclement weather. It'll also be a little bit lower, maybe, so the umbrella won't get in it as much. I don't know. I ask for a shot of LST. <laughs> Taxi cab said it. If I fly away, I'm not in Kansas anymore. Beggars and walk. Sean's taking the blame. Do I like roller coasters? So not, not really. For the longest time, growing up, I never liked roller coasters. I only really started getting into them a little bit more recently. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I, I guess I like them more now. I'm still not sure if I can handle the craziest ones, like at Six Flags, but I'd be more willing to try now than before, which was a, like a never event. I would make a great tour guide. Yeah, if I advertise my tour something like, I don't really know anything that I'm talking about, but if you want to walk around with me anyway, be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. I know nothing of what I said. Anyway, uh, please do Uber Eats notifications on my chat phone. Say anything, so. See, these folks, uh, have a special, like, uh, they put that up, I'm sure, themselves. A little extra tint on their window. What would, we, what would you call that? This has a special name. I don't know. Whatever.
WCS Inform Informatica Caetano. No, but we know walks in Wall Street, Tom. He's a nice guy. He's going to help me get an apartment for cheap. I don't think he knows that yet, but we're going to ask him. We're going to do a, a great collaboration with him and Cash Jordan. <laughs> Privacy shoot. Okay, that's a little... That sounds better than whatever I was trying to say. Film, yeah, a little film. Frosted window also sounds better than whatever I was trying to say. These are all definitely words that depict what I was trying to relay to you. Um, when we up again. El Toro is the best ride. I was still surprised that the um, high octane rides they got at SeaWorld. You just you never really like associate SeaWorld with thrill rides. But surprisingly, more Donald Duck for Shram. Shram. Sorry. 18 Shake Shacks in NYC area. Ah. Well, it's also nice to have the Highline all to yourself and not at the crack of dawn. The less nice part is the um, the rain and the wind. It's not me, he's got the solar screens on the windows. Time check, 440. Wait, 440 or 450? I can't tell what this is. Nah, it's 450. Holy moly, okay. Did I go down to where the filling in your Ghostbusters? Um, well, we were by the Ghostbusters firehouse before. Are they actually filming there? I don't know. Somebody's setting up a camera in that apartment, though. I wonder if they're staging it. Or do they use that apartment only for, like... No, they're actually, like, painting there or something. Or do they use it only for, like, uh, filming? Oh, no, is that Exposed NYC? Didn't somebody look that up and say it's, like, a porn site or something? Wait, what are they doing in there? They're doing something. They're setting up a camera. Which coasters did we do at Disney? Tron. Uh, all the Star Wars ones. And like the Pirates. Not really a little water ride there, but not too many of the actual, like, ride rides. Oh, and, and Avatar, which is just spinning around in space, but, you know, it's a good one. That one, they... If, as long as you don't turn around, you can be very well immersed into it. Watch the Watchers. I'd like to see the new Beetlejuice. All right, things get windier, I think, again, up ahead. Murky Moments Josh is here. Oh man, how is it that as soon as I walk up to the area that's very narrow with scaffolding is when all the people show up? <laughs> like... What was that? I don't know. The baby commuter enjoy Disney. Yeah, she did. Tron is too short. Tron is pretty short, yeah. Uh, a new message. Hold on, I better check this real quick just to make sure it's nothing too important. Be my guest. Ah, oh, come on. Is it not gonna... Please, please. Can't recognize face. Recognize it. Because I can't use my finger to have my gloves on. I think it's too dark in here. Ah, oh, I think I did it too many times now. I actually gotta type in my password. Huh.
Sorry. Oh, did I miss a, uh, oh, and I missed a sticker? Hold on. Uh, first of all, Roxanne Robles with a $5 super chat. Happy rainy days. And Maritza Jimenez with a $5 super sticker. That, sorry, I was, I, oh, no, I messed up. My sorry, I got, I got in, in, in depth into responding to some messages. But thank you for that. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm stuck here under the sca- Oh, gosh, I didn't forget. Sorry I'm stuck under the scatter, but thank you for the super chats. I always appreciate the extra support. Thank you, Ritz and Roxanne. And Mercury Moment Josh with a five dollar super chat. With some spring rain. Thank you again. It's a little uh I think it cools down again a little bit tonight into tomorrow and potentially Monday morning. Um but that's alright. But thank you again. Mercury Moments Josh. Ritza, Roxanne, thank you. Uh, this is where I slipped last time. Anyone remember that? Let's try to be extra careful. This little wet floor caution sign is the, uh, the memorial. Okay. What sit-down restaurant in Manhattan do I recommend? I mean... Okay. That's a tough one. You gotta, like... We gotta talk cuisine, you know, what you wanna eat. Cause I'll just recommend some high end sushi place that I would only go to like once every two years because of how expensive it is, but that's one of my favorites. Like a really fancy omakase. I really like those. West remains in the freezing temperatures. Italian food, okay. Um, also depends on what you want. If you want like handmade noodles, Scarpetta is a good one, but it's kind of expensive for like pasta, but pretty good. Someone others, some others might have other recommendations. There's like a, there's this place called John's on 12th Street that I think is kind of nice. It's a smaller restaurant, it's been around for a long time. I think it's been highlighted by a couple of YouTubers in the past. John's on 12th Street, just off 2nd Avenue. I think it's on 12th, well, it could be on 11th Street, actually. I don't know, 12th or 11th, over there on 2nd Avenue, East Village area. Little Island is over there. The W Hotel is in the distance. I don't know if that's even visible on this thing. The cheapest restaurant in New York City? Probably some food cart or like a hole-in-the-wall place in Chinatown. There's like this place in China, like, well, it's actually near Chinatown where you can get, like, they just serve food on, like, paper plates. And you can get, like, a bowl of noodles for, like, two bucks. Something like that. At least it used to be this way, like, ten years ago. John's on 12th is historic. Makes a long Sean knows that. See, it's, for me, it's, like, it's probably... I took it for granted. I grew up in Stytown, so we, like, we went there a lot. But we never, like, considered its, you know, presence in the timeline of history. 14th Street. See, I like the idea of those like super domey umbrellas, but I feel like they can get taken away much easier. Like, what happens if you get a really strong gust of wind over there? It's, it's like it's like a sail. It's like built to collect wind if it comes out from under you. Keith Hardy used to live in uh, Canal. He used to hang at Lucky Strike. Wait, Lucky Strike wasn't that like on Forty Second Street? Or am I thinking of something else? 
Oh, I got another message again. Hold on, let me see if I can answer this. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe it's still open in the background. We've almost done the whole High Line. I'd say that's some kind of success. Since we're here, should we try going through a <laughs> Chelsea Market for uh, S and Gs? Anybody know what I what I mean when I say S S and Gs? S's and Gs. There are still a couple of dollar pizza places. Oh, there's the one from behind. Let's not stand. Crosswind area. The Whitney is up ahead. Oh, well, the wind is going in the directions. Why are you doing this to me, man? It's not cool. It's not cool, man. It's not me. He's got to go back to work. You're working this weekend, too? I'm sorry. Oh, I smashed the camera with my umbrella. Sorry. Good guy, Edward in Ukraine. Hello. <clears throat> Steve Peters is missing a storm. Returning from spring break tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, it looks like tomorrow is going to be not rainy. <laughs> Maybe a little chillier, but not rainy. The High Line starts on Gansevoort Street, which is just a few blocks south of 14th Street. Uh, and then goes up to... I guess in the end it's supposed to go all the way up to 34th Street when it wraps around Hudson Yards, but it kind of goes up to around 30th right now, I think. Or something. Hey, is that Strawberry Fields? Hello? No, I'm coming off the High Line right now. We're trying to avoid the slippage. Good to see Strawberry Fields, as always. When I said S's and G's, it's, it's like the, the poops and giggles, you know what I mean? Ah. All right, of course there's gonna be a gust of wind behind me as we try to make our way down. All right. Ah, yes. You know, poops and gigs, poops and gigs. Shake Shack, let's see how busy they are inside today. Not busy at all. People have uh, Shake Shack nearly all themselves in there. But Shake Shack has wraparound glass all the way around to this alley. Not alley. alleyway. It is a great day for rubber pants. I wish I'd worn mine. But I'm an idiot. Is that a Rivian? That's an interesting color choice. Like tan, beige, I don't know. The rain's lightened up substantially though. It's more of like a light drizzle now. I can see my camera move. Yeah, I think the neck thing is gonna work out better. And that comes in. Keith Hardy misses Manhattan. At least you get to see it a little bit right now, virtually. Hopefully one day in person again. Seth Rollins of Mania. Is he doing the tag team? 
is it, is that what they're doing? Like a tag team at first, and then <clears throat> depending on the, the outcome of that, will determine uh, Sunday's main event. I mean, of course, the outcome's already planned and determined, but you know, for us. Deborah, it's like a light, light rain still. It's not really so bad. Lucid's across the street. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go through. Um, we're gonna go through Chelsea Market. <clears throat> I've determined we need one more test in there on the pocket. Do I pack? No, nothing's happened. I think it's just me walking. I think it's just me walking differently, maybe a little faster. <clears throat> like, it's interesting to me because I saw a bunch of videos of the guys who use these action cams on those necklace mounts. And you would think they would be a lot bouncier than the backpack one, but they really weren't. There was one that actually compared saw something kind of close to this. So I don't know. Somehow it stays not too, uh, not too loopy doopy. Well, I've always walked everywhere, and originally this channel was supposed to be me commuting by walking, but like walking really fast and dodging people how would how you'd see a New Yorker doing it. But uh kind of evolved for the pandemic. The counterweight of the ICAF. Alright, I wanna go the other way. Let me walk up and we're gonna go here's the Apple store down here. It's got police right inside of it, not even security. I wanna walk th from west to east in Chelsea Market. Chris Bates is here in Arizona. on my cover, on my backpack. Oh no, we're shaky, we're shaky, don't worry. Hopefully the necklace mount does things a little bit better. But that might, I feel like the necklace mount might pick up more with like, rustling. And then I don't really know where to put the microphone if I do that, if I use an external mic. And we'll figure it all out as we, as we continue testing live, which is just how we do things here. Paul Harrison, glad you're enjoying. I mean, we still call this meatpacking district, but yeah, it was called meatpacking because there was a lot more meat packing going on. They still do it. There's still some areas of uh, proper meatpacking, butchers and whatnot, but I don't know. I think it's more wholesale stuff but I am not an expert. I'm just a man dude. I'm walking in this bridge. Where are you at? So you'll never know. Until you hear the squeak. Okay. Mark below. Sorry again, the umbrella goes into frame a lot. The wind picks up. I gotta lower it. And that's what happens. The what, the what now? The bushes? I don't know. I think they do. The ones in the planters, but... Yeah. A nuke, hello? Smell a lot of gas right now. Right by Rivian now. Sort of an actual like tent on top of the Rivian. Car camping. I want to see my face because it's the camera's mounted to my backpack. Velcro. 
Maria, yes, I picked it up Friday. I think it was yesterday. Just 10,000 things, you know. Ah oh, man, we're gonna be stuck here for a while. I'm looking at the amount of cars actually waiting to come across this light, and it's a lot of them. Could be nearly all of them, actually. Still a strong gas smell here. Michael Juniper in the UK, hello. Oh, I could have crossed in front of that slow moving car. Oh, the lights changed, that's why it's going so slow. But I don't know where he's going now, he's going directly into the crosswalk. All right. Ah, you know your judo well, if anybody knows that reference. All right, let's go ruin my stream. <laughs> let's see how bad the service is gonna be in here. Let me catch up this one to make it fully live so I have a better idea of when things break apart. I assume also my chat is gonna die at some point. All right. Give it a moment. All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's see how much we can break the stream now. Oh yeah, dark space. Well, let's see what happens with the service also. Remember, I got three, three uh, cellular devices connecting all of us right now. Let me know when things get weird. Because I know they will. The floor here is so weird. ISO has gone way up, it's gotten fuzzier. It's actually not as crowded in here as I thought it would be. I would think that whenever there's a lot of uh, rain, it'll be even busier in here. Alright, my, my chat phone has disconnected. So I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just going to walk through and hope for the best. Friedman's lunch opened up here. What are they open? They do a good brunch. It's called Ayata. Uh, let me know how things are looking on the stream. Chelsea Market has a little shop here. Like Chelsea Market merchandise. This is where all the water is going in New York, by the way. The camera feels like an under, moves like an undercover investigation. Oh boy. Cream line. We got the farm source cream. More water pressure than your shower. Yeah, New York uh, shower water pressure is sometimes leaves uh, things to be desired. What's the name of this place? Cork Buzz? The water? Huh. Sample sale here, it seems. Let me know how uh, how the service holds up because I can't really see. I can't monitor. My chat phone is not able to monitor this because it's on T-Mobile and uh, the service just goes in and out. Joyce, it is. Oh, there was a brief blip. Just one though, so far. We're almost near the end of it, too, so that's not bad. Fashion, culture, lifestyle. Oh, 
Yep, he, he, he said the right thing. Was it bad? I'm getting uh-ohs. Yeah, but how bad is the actual, like, I feel like even with that low bit rate at the end or whatever that blip was, this might have been one of the best run-throughs out of all of them, right? Is this the best run-through out of any uh, Chelsea Market walkthrough in the past? Oh, everyone's just dumping them. Just empty and brilled things. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go outside. And let things stabilize. Stand on the side here. Went down to 480p. I guess on low bitrate or whatever. Let me let me go back into the um, the Bella Box page just and just see if I was able to. Ooh, did I, I lost a connection. Yeah, something lost a connection. Interesting. Okay, I have an idea. I can bring it back, I think. All right. If you give me... It's gonna go to the birds. We're gonna get... Sorry about that. I, I actually had to take a phone call and I didn't really know how to turn off the sound. There, I don't have like a separate privacy mode right now. The BRB screen would automatically go back to the live screen if I used it because it's set on an auto thing. I think the rain is like nearly stopped. But yeah, that was, uh, that was my fault. So I don't know, I kind of want to go back through Chelsea Market again, I don't know. It looks like one of the things dropped out, Vegas and Walk Sean, and it stays, um, it dropped out, but like, eh, no, I think it's the it's too narrow there. But it's not like a problem with the devices because it comes back on its own if I restart the Bella Box with the software button. Like if I go to the actual, you know, website of the remote Bella Box thing and I click the restart device it brings back all of my connections so I'm not sure how that works but that's what I have oh wasn't that that Chinese restaurant that we walk by in Midtown sometimes Parfils yeah we're different yeah Philippe Chow I didn't know they had one down here too we call Philippe downtown. Can't even look inside. It's like a door within a door.
I'm unique, uniquely ridiculous, or something. Oh, I didn't know School of Visual Arts had a building here. Right across the street from the Goobs. And also, Google building has an Atlantic Theater company inside of it. I don't know if that's related to Google at all, but yeah. Yeah, the Philippe Chow in the 50s is the one I know about. I didn't know how they had one down here, but I guess they do. I also feel like I might be able to close this umbrella soon. Although it's kind of like a mist, maybe, still. Once the mist kind of calms down, I'll be able to turn this off. But I think I still see a mist. It's actually way too many people walking up this walk than I would have expected. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> Taylor Swift lived in New York? I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, there's still a fine mist. falling through them, it's due to uh, the slipperiness of slipping on them. A grateful foam home for umbrellas. In rainy days or sunny skies, umbrellas shield us a welcome surprise. Well, I don't know if it's a surprise, GPT. Gently folding, always there, protecting us with loving care. Uh, it, gets cut off, it gets cut off, so I don't want to feel like finishing it. Yeah, it's not surprising, TH, right? Keep walking east. Uh, it's a narrow block. It's scaffolding. Taxi cab, you know too much. Maria Gonzalez, hello. Yeah, I think they. I think the rain was originally supposed to end by around seven, but I'll take it if it decides to end earlier. Hello. PLA 30, yeah, the rain seems to be subsiding.
temperature wise it's not very cold but also if you're like running or you're working out it's probably not so bad Oh, that's what the FS stands for? <laughs> now I know. Yeah, there's still a fine mist. If you look up at the sky, you can see it. Torn and twisted they lie in the storm's cruel aftermath. Once hopeful and proud, now shattered and alone. Broken umbrellas, unloved. Wow. That's harsh. I think every time... Horror feels forever swift to Yeah, I, I will not forget it. I'll try to remember. Ah. Where our big Bed Bath & Beyond was, right across the street. We still have the Marshalls and TJ Maxx left, though. Did they recently open a Five Below here? Again, for those who don't know, Five Below is not a uh, not an ice cream store. It's a glorified dollar store, where it's like five dollars and under. But I don't know if they stick to that rule. Definitively, but yeah. The scaffolding kind of abruptly ends right in the corner here. It's a fine mist. I feel it. Anyway. They've been tearing up a lot of these roads again. I thought they did all the repaving already in these neighborhoods, but now they're still going at it. Eight Below is a good movie. Did I see that one? Oh, no. oh yeah, Adorama's here. It's like another B&H, similar. Stax has made it in. We all got to look up Flurry, and then put him in a celebrity death match. Taylor Swift. Whatever happened to MTV celebrity death match?
I wonder if somehow with the Bella Box going through the um, Chelsea Market, if one of the connected hotspots lost so much service, like dropped out of the Bella Box, and the Bella Box didn't automatically pick it up again. I don't know. Sharon Solomon, hello. Home nature. Matu Rosignol, hello. Okay, I didn't say that too incorrectly. Yeah, we're like, we're right at that cusp of no more mist. I guess I could just risk it and shut down. Fourteen seconds to cross. Birdie as well. Okay, it's got some singers to look up. Yeah, the mist is back again. This is like I don't know. Susan Fennell with a five dollar super chat. Thank you for your support during this wet weather. Glad you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for putting up with the shakier nature of this action cam and I guess where it's mounted. But I figured it would be a better use camera for rain than my other one. So Rosa Mexicano or Mexicano was, uh, this location was actually a restaurant called America until the early 2000s, I think. It was actually a pretty nice restaurant. like. Atmosphere wise. But I don't think they made table side guacamole, so you know. Ron lost track of pop culture when people showed up. Horror Fields, I appreciate that, thank you. I'd be happy if you stick around. We always like making new friends. So I thought about doing cycling videos. Mm. I think I get too much anxiety with doing that in New York. Paragon Sporting Goods is a pretty full-featured sports store, sporting goods store. You get almost anything for outdoor activities at Paragon. Let's see if we can cross here. Union Square is over there. I think a lot of the shops, even though today the market was going on, you can even see on Walks on Wall Street, Tom's stream that there weren't many people, I assume a lot of them closed down early. It just wasn't worth it, probably. Actually, no, I should go towards uh, the park. Yeah. You used to love saying that, I think. Yeah, there's a few other channels that, that highlight what it's like to bike in New York City uh, that I can think of. I mean, I can only really think of one off the top of my head. Zero Enigma, I think it's called. Yeah. Oh, that mist is kind of back again. I don't know if the everything's tinted on that car. Casino used to work right on this block. Equinox is right there. That's one of their like flagship locations too, I think. I mean, every oh, it's movie slanted in the fall on this. If I don't move off, yeah, my, <laughs> my shoes don't handle that metal, wet metal very well. Yeah, actually, like, especially when Action Kid was, like, working, I think he did a lot more of those types of stuff, like, scooters and biking and things like that. Nova's getting some downpour. I'm assuming when that happens, uh, food truck business is slow. I smell something good right now. I don't know where it's coming from, but it smells quite good. Oh man, where is that coming from? It smells amazing. I 
still smell it coming this way. Oh man. Oh yeah, if you're just gonna cycle for exercise, Central Park's a great place because you got those dedicated paths essentially. Farmer's Market, nine to one. Still nearly sold out of breakfast sandwiches. Nice. That's awesome. All right, I don't smell that food anymore. I'm upset. It smelled very good. As uh, Darth Vader would say, I want those plans. Or something. Oh yeah, Walks and Washer used to be... Uh, Escape, what was his name? Wall Street Escape Row or something? Yeah. Have I tried Tompkins for bagels? I have. I have. My go to bagel place has always been um, Essa Bagel. But that's also partly because it was right next to where I grew up. And I don't think we realized it was one of the top name bagel places in New York. Utopia Bagels is one out in Queens that's kind of popular. Now they're going to have a, uh, a Manhattan location at some point this year. Ew, what is in my phone? What you smell vision Oh boy. Harley Davidson training wheels? That would be something. The Harry Potter store is right across the street. They're celebrating Butterbeer, it says. And Butterbeer itself is non alcoholic. I've heard of people putting fireball in there. Tuxedo going somewhere today. All right, let's try. Okay. Every city has issues, for sure. My go-to cream cheese filling. I mean, I like plain. Sometimes scallion is good. I don't like. I don't go too wild with the cream cheese. If I want to go like dessert bagel, I'll get like a cinnamon raisin bagel with the with the walnut cream cheese. That one's a pretty good combo for like a sweet bagel. Yeah, Fireball is like a cinnamon. Is it actually a whiskey? Would people who are connoisseurs of whiskey be upset to hear that? I don't know. But yeah, it's a little sweet. And you could throw it in your in your butter beer and then I don't know. Darby's here. Cliff Padilla's here, new subscriber, awesome, welcome. I should have right. Um the rain is already pretty much done. It's definitely caused some flooding though. You might have seen some other streams and you saw some other um areas like Penn Station we were in earlier. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I had to restart the Bella box again. It said the import so input source is stalled, but just starting and stopping the stream didn't work. But going to uh, going to the Bella box settings and restarting it worked. Oh, they took down those jellyfish looking structures, uh, the art in the park. Anyway. Not sure why it crapped out there, but it did. Marty, hello. Something about party in the park. Oh, they're honoring Danny Meyer. On April 2nd. 
because Danny Meyer did uh, Shake Shack, right? And also had something to do with 11 Madison, which is supposed to be over there somewhere. So April 2nd appears to be uh, a party in the park honoring Danny Miller. I doubt I'm being invited, but you can go and get tickets if you scan this QR code or visit that, uh, that website. He's a food guy. Hey, Danny Mai, the food guy. I think that's how he goes. Hey, yo, I'm Danny Mai. I'm the food guy. I have no idea if that's how he talks. Use the press pass. Ooh. Nah, I think if I have to buy tickets, I don't think the press pass works. Maybe? I don't know. I'm assuming it wouldn't work. Maybe it's Sean. Oh yeah, I went to a few places today. We were in uh, Penn Station, went to the High Line, walked the entire thing, went into Chelsea Market, where we almost went through unscathed. Almost. I'm going to get my invitation via Pigeon Express. I'm waiting for that. They better not lose it. Those pesky pigeons. Kraft Philadelphia Cream Cheese has honey pecan cream cheese spread. That sounds pretty good. See, I just want to live in that house right there. I don't know if you can see that, that red brick home right there with the terrace on top. I'll take that. I'll live there. Free. You know? I should walk the whole Broadway. Action Kid has done that. But I've walked the entire perimeter of Manhattan on the stream before. I was talking to Vegas and Walk Show, but I want to turn it into a... Um, a time lapse. I want to see if I can compress all nine and a half hours or whatever it was of the uh, the saunter into uh, into one minute, <laughs> like like you're warping through space time or something. I don't know. Mark Soft Madison is pretty good food. Power Fields, good to see you too. Hope we see you again. Glad you found us. Our usual, for those who are new, our usual um, streams are Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings when I actually am going to or in between work sites. So that's when you usually see me. And those are pretty consistent. Um, we sometimes do these one-offs if it's inclement weather or if I just find some extra time to myself and want to take a walk with you guys. That's how we do it. That little Subaru sports car, find her B. Fine herb, fine herb, fine herb is the vanity plate. Santar is a short video on YouTube, will get plenty of views. I could try. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go into Premiere and I'll, I'll see just how much I can compress it because it's, I imagine it's gonna be a little bit of a, a thing to do. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I to upload like one time, I think. But yeah, anyway. They're still advertising that Winter Glow. I really feel like it got taken down prematurely. I don't know if you could see that across the street on the lamppost. It was that cube they had set up by Madison Square Park where you could walk by and it like flashed a lot of lights and you can get nearby to interact with it. But like, it lasted a very short time. Somebody must have complained about it being like epileptic concerning. These pigeons look a little sad. But yeah. 
Both of us gotten hungry from all this bagels and cream cheese talk. You gotta, you gotta talk to Bagels of Walk Sean about the best bagels. As the official bagelologist. Great weather for ducks, yes. Naturopathy duck. In New Mexico. 9,000 feet above. A mile and a half-ish. In the mountains. Seem likes Tompkins Square bagels the best. They're definitely a contender. They always have big crowds too. I hear good things about that Saravana Balvavan as a vegetarian restaurant. I've never been. I should have crossed that one. But anyway, I might I might end up doing like a rolling stop to uh, to finalize this tree. We've been going for a good while, right? In like two hours. Yes, yeah, join the dongles. Yeah, I hear the bagels in, in New York in the water frequently. I don't know if anyone's been able to replicate them without the water anywhere else. I don't know. Ooh, something smells good again. Oh man. It is never good to smell something in the street that's delicious when you're very hungry. You can be swayed very easily. But I must be good. I see the Chrysler building in the distance. Kind of. I don't know how well it comes through. Cows eat grass and you had beef stew technically you're vegetarian. It's all by proxy, right? Green chili cheese bagel with cream cheese. Green chili cheese bagel, huh? Anyway. James, you're, you're, how do you pronounce it? Yurji, Yurji? In San Jose, hello. We got a special water. We apparently have special bedrock under Manhattan. They call it like Manhattan schist or something. And they claim that's one of the reasons we can have such dense and tall skyscrapers. I don't know. But yeah, thanks everyone for joining today as I do this rolling stop. Ooh, happy hour every day. Every day, including the weekends. Three to six. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to join me on this rainy weather. It kind of stopped now, but we were in the thick of it for a little bit. I got to see some flooding in the Penn Station. Always appreciate the Super Chats, Super Stickers, PayPals, Patreons, memberships. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, not subscribers. Thank you, too. If you're listening and you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. It's free and easy thing to do. It helps us. It helps other walking channels in New York and other places because it shows YouTube this is the content you want to see. Whew. Almost ran out of breath on that one. <laughs> Give me your thumbs on collecting them. Thank you if you have already. Of course, thanks to the months. Um, sure. Anyway, yeah, uh, we'll most likely see you again Monday morning if there are other opportunities to stream sooner. You know, it'll be a surprise to us both. <laughs> Nothing is planned at times. Other times it is. Oh, there's something. Oh, I, technically there, we don't have the lights across this, but there's no cars coming. I don't know if it has something to do with what we saw earlier, but I don't know. Anyway. Wolf, you heard me fast talking. I was just, I'm practicing my auctioneer uh, voice now. Anyway, see you all again when I'm able to stream. If it's Monday for the commute, that'll be around, you know, 7.45 to 8 a.m. Eastern time, New York time. So convert that to your local time if you're hours away. But anyway, till next time, have a good rest of the weekend. We'll see you soon.